What's up everyone? So Disney Dreamlight Valley is available now for early access. It will be a free to play game further down the line, but if you want to play it now, it's available on all platforms. I've been playing it on the Nintendo Switch and it will cost you around £24.99. Disney Dreamlight Valley is a hybrid between a life sim and adventure game rich with quests, exploration and activities and it features Disney characters and Pixar characters as well. If you're a fan of games like Animal Crossing, if you're a big Disney fan, then I would definitely recommend playing this game. I mean, if you want to wait for it to become free to play, then definitely play it then. But um, yeah, I think this will be a game for you. Uh, but I wanted to just do a few tips for beginners, um, as I feel like there's certain things that you might miss. And I just wanted to make a little guide just to help you out as you start the game. Okay, so tip number one, and this isn't in any particular order, but what I would say is harvest as much as possible. Berries and apples respawn frequently, so pick those as much as you can, and you can sell these if you need money. You also have a stamina meter, which decreases as you perform tasks, so having apples on standby to eat is a great way to replenish stamina and saves you the trip of having to go all the way back home. Number two, Build storage boxes as soon as you're able to craft them. These boxes act independently so you can fill ones with, for example, gems or another one with fruits. It all comes in handy as there's only so much you can carry around in the first parts of the game in your pockets. So definitely craft storage boxes and these can be stored in your house or outside. Um, so yeah, make use of those. Number three, Befriend and hang out with characters. You get experience points just by doing this and doing little tasks around town. They will also give you bonuses which you can check by pressing up on the d-pad and this will show you what bonus you've assigned to that specific character whether it's mining, farming, fishing etc. But yeah have just having them hang out with you while you break rocks or get rid of the vines that are throughout the town that gives you experience points so definitely make use of that. Number four, pick up everything and keep as much as possible. Put it in storage because you'll need it later down the line. So make sure you keep everything. And yes, that does mean everything. Again, with things like fruits, they are readily available that selling these won't cause any issues. You'll have load more in no time. Number five, always check your map. Now it shows you exactly where all the characters are. So if you're doing a quest and you need to find a particular character to bring them something or speak to them then just check your map you'll see where they are you can go straight to them and it cuts out any sort of time wasting number six and this is more of a design feature but you can change your environment so when you're outside you can go to your furniture menu close the selection screen and then adjust the camera so you can see the area you want to edit better and then just hover over elements like trees in the environment, click the action button and move things around. So trees, bushes, rocks, everything that's there for aesthetic purposes can be moved around and placed where you want it to be. So you can, in a way, design your town to look the way you want it to look. Okay, so those are just a few of the tips I would say to use when you're starting out. Um, there, have, there are a few issues with the game. Um, I would say the camera can feel a little bit loose and wonky at times so what I did and what helped me was I just reduced the camera sensitivity a bit um, and that helped. Also there was a few bugs which causes the game to crash. Again I'm playing on the Nintendo Switch so um, it may be different for other platforms but I do find that the game does crash on occasion so make sure you manually save the game especially if you've done um, some sort of task. Um, you don't want to lose out your progress so make sure you save manually save it as much as you can and hopefully this is something that's patched sooner rather than later it's not a game breaking um, bug but it does get quite annoying so yes hopefully it's something that's patched very soon and lastly I just want to say have fun with the game do things the way you want to do them and go at your own pace don't try to rush through things or it might just take the fun away and feel overwhelming but yeah, I think Disney Dreamlight Valley is a is a really good game actually and um, it's got me hooked already. So definitely check it out if you think that it's up your street. I hope these tips have helped and I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.